Let's look at how we use the assessment module to record professional judgments about the development and progress of our learners as part of our summative assessment. We'll assume your assessment module has been set up and configured by your cloud administrator. And in this case, we've been gathering evidence and we're ready to record some new judgments. So from the main launch screen, we'll tap the assessment button in the bottom right. We will log in with the username and password that we've been provided with. And so here's a list of our assessment books. And let's open the assessment book for our Turtles class. One of the powerful features of the assessment module in Evidence for Learning is you can make and record informed judgments based on the evidence that you and your colleagues have collected for each of your learners. As we can see on the left hand side we have 17 areas for the YFS framework and alongside these in the first column we can see how much evidence we've collected against each learning aspect. So for example let's look at writing. We'll tap on the evidence button and we can see the evidence we've gathered against the various statements. And we can tap to drill down to look at the detail. We want to be able to make a best fit judgment, so we'll tap on the show framework switch to expand the framework, and this lets us see at a glance which developmental range the evidence lies. This will help us make an even more informed judgment. And as before, we can tap on the evidence icon to drill down into more detail. So in this instance, looking at writing for Alison, we have evidence to suggest Alison is working within the 40 to 60 months developmental range. She's not quite secure, so we're going to say she's developing. Tap on the dotted button alongside writing, and that will display a pop-up where we can scroll to the appropriate judgment in this case, 40 to 60 D. If we want to look at the evidence again, we can tap the evidence button. And if you need help, you can tap the question mark. When ready, tap the record button to record our judgment. So we'll just speed up this video and record a whole bunch of judgments for Alison. Okay. Judgments are not saved to the cloud until you tap the save button in the top right. And if you want to change or remove a judgment, simply tap on the judgment and then tap reset. When you do tap save, all judgments for all learners made in this session are saved to the cloud. Check your judgments prior to saving as saved judgments can't be edited. But before we save, let's look at a few other useful features. And to do this, we'll switch learners to Callum using the arrows at the top. Now for Callum, we've previously recorded some judgments and this is indicated in the second column next to the evidence. If we tap on the historical assessments, we can see more detail including when judgments were made and by which member of staff. These historical judgments go back to September 2016. An assessment book will show all judgments and all evidence for a learner against the relevant framework, in this case EYFS, even when collected by other colleagues and from previous years or other classrooms. And where there are historical judgments, when we tap to record a new judgment, historical judgments are flagged. In this case, we can see Callum has had previous judgments at 30 to 50 emerging and 30 to 50 secure. Let's now record him at 40 to 60 emerging. And in the case of expressive art and design being imaginative, we can see he has been twice judged in the 30 to 50 range as emerging. If we now feel that Callum is making progress, we can move him on to 30 to 50 developing. Lastly, if we would like to write a professional statement to support our judgment, or perhaps a milestone review, or a transition report, we can tap the corresponding professional statement button and then write our statement. And then tap done in the top right. And now we're ready to save this session, we can now tap save.
All assessment data, including judgments and professional statements, can be exported into a spreadsheet by your cloud administrator. Thank you.